Hello, APA Bio. I'm just going to clarify a little bit. Um, you've just read chapter 20. I mean, uh, sorry, page 20 in your notes. And I just want to clarify a little bit about the P-globe plasmid. So the P-globe plasmid is um, a, an engineered, a patented engineered plasmid that's DNA that's com been combined from several different sources. So uh, let's clarify first what a plasmid is. So here's a bacteria cell and here's the chromosomal DNA. So this is the chromosome right here. And this is a bacteria cell, a bacterium, singular. And then uh, other than the, the chromosomal DNA, bacteria also have these little bits of DNA that are actually mobile. They can be secreted into the environment and then other bacteria can take them up. And because they're mobile, uh, scientists exploit that idea and they scientists will put them into the environment and they'll uh, perform different procedures so they'll have bacteria cells take up these little bits of DNA. They're called plasmids. This is a plasmid. And it's a mobile genetic element. Mobile genetic element that only bacteria cells have. I mean, only uh, prokaryotic cells, eukaryotic cells. Very, it's very rare in eukaryotic cells. In any case, um, the p globe plasmid is an engineered plasmid. So let's draw what that means. And it, it, that means that the DNA has come from different sources. p glow refers to the, the, and the patented plasmid. So we're going to draw one of these right here. So here is what that looks like. Let's draw it big so we can see it. So here's that circular piece of DNA, and it's a it's a double helix, um, and it it it's taken from originally from a bacteria cell, I think, and in that bacteria cell, it already had some interesting components to it. Like all plasmids, it has to have in all bits of DNA, it has that origin and replication. So it has that. Now, along with that, it has two different types of markers. It has a screenable marker and a selectable marker. So different reporter genes that are going to tell um, the investigator that it's actually there tells the, the scientist something. So it has both a screenable marker or a screenable reporter gene and a selectable marker. Let's talk about those selectable marker. Now the screenable marker, the interesting thing about the screenable marker is it's actually taken from a eukaryotic cell but the selectable marker is taken from a prokaryotic cell. Let's talk about the screenable marker first. The screenable marker is a, a gene that allows jellyfish to grow. It's called GFP, which means green fluorescent protein. And the thing that's interesting about allowing uh, putting the green fluorescent protein onto a plasmid is it's a eukaryotic gene and a, it's going to be expressed by a prokaryotic cell so it's really good evidence of dna as the universal language now uh, the other thing that is on the p-glow plasmid is a control switch that turns on and off the gfp gene this was originally the arabinose operon it's called p-bad and it's the promoter plus the operator. So the promoter, remember, that's where uh, D uh, RNA polymerase binds, plus the operator, operator. And in this case, it's uh, the it's the promoter and the uh, and the operator from the arabinose operon, from the era operon. And then the arabinose operon is an inducible operon that's turned on and off in the presence of arabinose. And so that means that this, the PBAT is a switch that's going to turn on and off, turn on and off the, the structural genes for arabinose in, in when it's in its wild type state. Uh, and uh, the operator is where arabinose is going to uh, interact and allow uh, RNA polymerase to transcribe the genes that allow for the catabolism of arabinose. But in this engineered plasmid, those enzymes to catabolize arabinose have been stripped off and GFP is there instead. So now what the, what the promoter controls is it turns on and off green fluorescent protein. So if arabinose is in the environment, it, the cell will produce green fluorescent protein and it will fluoresce green. But if it is 
no arabinos, then the operon's going to go off. So it's an inducible operon that's been stripped of its structural genes and GFP there is instead. So we call that a screenable marker because when cells have taken up this engineered plasmid, you can screen for it. You can see it because it turns bright green. Now, the other thing uh, that is on the p glow plasmid is something called a selectable marker or, or a different type of reporter gene uh, that's called a selectable marker. And in the case of the p glow plas plasmid, this is the BLA gene. And the BLA gene codes for antibiotic resistance. Now, antibiotic resistance is taken from another bacteria cell. It's just from another uh, organism. And the reason that antibiotic resistance is used, because now, say you're trying to transform a bunch of cells and you only want to grow the ones that have been transformed. Well, all you need to do is grow them on antibiotic and then only the ones with antibiotic resistance will grow. So it allows uh, you to select for only transformed cells. Okay, so we've got this engineered plasmid, the p glow plasmid, that has DNA from lots of different sources. It has DNA from other bacteria cells here, DNA that a control mechanism from another bacteria cell, but then it also has DNA from a eukaryotic cell. So we've got a select selectable marker and a screenable marker combined on an engineered plasmid. Okay, that's it, and I hope that was helpful.